Back when I first started having kids, child in front ride with me bike seats like this were just starting to come on the scene and the ones that they had weren't pretty. But then came along kids ride shotgun, this basic design here, and it really refined it to the point where it was amazing. And just recently, we've started to see some cheap clones on Amazon that look very similar, but have bad reviews, seem to fall apart instantly. But this one here seems to be a little bit different. But will it provide you with all the benefits of the kids ride shotgun seat for a fraction of the price? Stay tuned, that's what we're gonna find out. But first, welcome to the backyard. I'm Jeff, and this is Fun Size Adventures, where we're all about getting you and your family out on little adventures in your own backyard and beyond. By showing you products like this, that'll save you some money and get you guys having a great time. So this seat and handlebar system is by a brand called, I have to read it, Fuermi? I would say that Fuermi. Everything you see here costs $45 on Amazon at the time of recording, compared to the Kids Ride Shotgun version one, which is their older version, that costs $135 for a similar setup. So as you can see, it's a very, very much cheaper product. But did they turn it into junk in the process? First off, let me just say this. If you have the money to spend it on the name brand Kids Ride Shotgun seat, Definitely don't hesitate to do that because you'll be so much happier in the long run. They are a great company and stand behind their product. But if you're like me and you're someone who, when they first started having kids, were on a tight budget and couldn't swing that high price tag, is a cheaper one like this gonna be a waste of money or is it going to hold up to things? Let's find out. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in this video talking about the benefits of this style seat as opposed to a ride behind seat, but that's something for a different time. First up, once you ordered your seat and it arrives, if you ordered the name brand one, you're gonna get a nice graphic box. You open it up, it's gonna have stickers, it's gonna have all these tools, it's gonna have a bunch of stuff that you expect from a high-end product. If you order this one, you're gonna get an Amazon box with a plastic bag inside and just all the pieces thrown in. But the good news is none of that stuff makes a difference once you're out on the trail. So that's one clear spot where they saved some money. The only other spot that I've noticed that they definitely chintzed out was on the foot pegs. On the foot pegs on the Kids Ride Shotgun, they're aluminum, have kind of traction bumps on them. They look more like stunt pegs that you'd see on a BMX bike, but just a little bit smaller. Where these ones, they seem to be metal still, but they're a much thinner steel pipe, and then they have like a plastic coating on the outside. I still think they'll do okay. And then the Kids Ride Shotgun seat came with a bunch of tools you could use to assemble it. This came with tools as well, but they were the junkiest tools you've ever seen. Hold on, let me see if I got any of them still. Okay, so it came with this like flat wrench that has Everything you need to do most of it, and then it came with an Allen wrench that actually stripped out in my installation process. Which, I'd rather that the wrench stripped out than the bolt. If the bolt stripped out, then this is instantly junk. But the fact that the wrench stripped out, while annoying, isn't a deal breaker. Especially if you have bikes, you surely have bike tools. You got something like this, this is a Crank Brothers tool. You've got all the Allen wrenches you need. Even if you have a normal like workbench Allen wrench set, you'll be fine. And then when it comes to the instructions, this is the piece of paper that came with this. This is trash. There's no point in even using this. Look up the Kids Ride Shotgun instructions and those will tell you better. Because there's steps that you need to do that it doesn't even mention on here. But in the little like minute and a half Kids Ride Shotgun setup video, it has those steps. Namely, step one, you gotta take this seat off of this assembly by loosening it up here. And you then can see an Allen head in the seat post, which you need to loosen up. Slide the two halves till they're the proper distance apart from your bike's top tube, so it's clamping it tight, and then tighten it back down. The instructions that came with this made no mention of that whatsoever. So when I was first trying to do this, I was struggling trying to figure out how to get it tight. It's because they didn't tell me about that nut in there. But once that was good, we were smooth sailing. You just adjust it to the proper width there. Then at the bottom, you unscrew the peg from one side, slip the whole assembly through, tighten the peg back up on the other side with a couple nuts that are in there. Then you put the then you put your quick release through, and then the handlebars were super easy. They had no issues. They came with a couple different plastic spacers. For my bars, I needed the thinner one, so there's a thin layer in there that separates the metal from the metal so that you don't damage your bike. And these are ones that are a little bit bulkier, probably if you have smaller handlebars. And as far as how did it work, once I got everything fully adjusted, it worked great. At first, when I had, didn't know about that bolt in here, it kept slipping back. So I did put some duct tape on the middle of the bolt down here just so it wouldn't scratch. But once I figured out about that bolt, it I can put it farther forward and it stays fine, which is good because when it is further back, it makes it a little bit more difficult to pedal because your kid's more back in between your legs. But as long as you have it in the right spot and it's a little bit further forward, you're fine. It's much easier to pedal. Actually way easier than I thought it would be. That's one of the things that kept me from pulling the trigger on a product like this for a long time 
because I thought it'd be difficult to pedal, but it's actually not. It doesn't really get in the way at all. You had to get these Allen keys on the handlebars pretty tight in order to make it so that they didn't move around. And at first you're kind of afraid to over tighten, strip something out, but I got them nice and tight. They haven't stripped out and they're not moving around anymore. So that is good. And if like me, you are constantly gonna wanna take this off to go on bike rides by yourself and then put it back on. It only takes about five minutes to take off, maybe slightly more like seven minutes to put back on. And like most things, the more you do them, the quicker they'll get. The seat they have is nice and comfy, comfier than my seat. And then as far as water bottle storage, as long as you have it further forward, your water bottle can get in and out, no problem. The other day we took this out on a longer, like five mile bike ride in the woods. The only issue that I ran into is that in the end of the foot pegs, there's these little like bar ends that they, these plastic caps that go into the pipe. If your kid wiggles his foot just right, those are gonna pop out. And I tried to glue them in with some like normal like glue stick glue but i think i'm going to put some sort of stronger adhesive in there jam those in let it dry overnight and then i'll be fine and for the amount of money you save on this over the high end bike seat i i feel like slight modifications like that are to be expected if you don't want to deal with like stuff like that like i said you should probably just go for the higher end product it also came with this no mention of what it is or what it's for and I just broke the Ziploc bag. From best I can tell, some sort of harness with like a zippered pouch on it that goes on your child. And then it has a, a belt that goes around you. So yeah, and then your kid would go in there. Like, I I don't know why, other than maybe like as a preventative measure to keep your kid from trying to like bail out on you. Kind of cool, has a little pouch, but like I said, I don't know if there's any real point to it. So at the end of the day, did I waste my money spending $45 on this when I should have just spent the $135 on the kids ride shotgun seat? Or did I just save myself 90 bucks and make a great decision? Like I said, I've put this through extensive testing. I even put much bigger children than it recommends on it just to test the durability and the strength of it. And it seems to, in every way possible, Hold up, is it every bit quite as beefy and in the long run gonna be headache free as the name brand Kids Ride Shotgun Seat? No, that one's gonna be light years ahead. If I was at a point where I had several kids that were still gonna cycle through using the seat on my bike, then I would definitely spring for the more expensive one. But right at this point where we don't know if we're gonna have any more kids and Miles is already three, my bathroom scale has crapped out on me and identifies as Canadian now. So it told me that he's 18 and a half kilograms, which translates to just under 40 pounds. So he's already at the top end of what this is recommended for. So in light of that, where we've only got a couple years till he's big enough to not need this anymore, I think that this will hold up fine for that long run and probably beyond. Maybe someday I'll be riding my grandkids around on this seat too. But if you're interested in buying either of the child carrier bike seats that we talked about today, the links are down in the description and those are affiliate links. Clicking on those and buying these seats or anything really helps support the channel. So I'd appreciate it if you did that. If you wanna see a little bit more of this seat in use, check out this video right here where we do some behind the scenes testing for this video. But until next time, get out there with your kids on your bikes if you want to and have a fun size adventure of your own. See ya.